Hi! I'm back. Actually, I didn't go anywhere. I'm filming a bunch of episodes all at once. Uh, now we're going to look at the sleeveless chiffon button shirt and long sleeve chiffon shirt. Um, these are also from artscow.com, but you're going to get the same thing if you order from cowcow.com. I think they're actually the same company, but I don't know exactly how that works. I think they have something to do with each other, or they're the same thing or something. Here's the sleeveless one. This is an interesting shirt. Um, it's kind of like a normal button-up. It's got a stand collar and uh, comes with white buttons. You can't change that. Uh, exposed buttons through the placket on this side. There's the, side, there's the buttonholes. Uh, no sleeves. There's just a rolled hem at the sleeve. No facing, which doesn't really matter to me, um, as long as it lays right, which it does. And then it's uh, short in the back and long in the front. Um, that's how they have it styled in the photo, and I think that's just kind of weird. Um, it's got pockets, two pockets, which I could honestly do without. I have always just thought that pockets over your boobs were weird. Um, and, oh, there's a yoke on the back, so this is a separate piece, and then a little pleat right here, which gives you some of that extra room in the shoulders, like when you lean forward, you've got some give right there, because none of these fabrics are stretchy, none of these shirt fabrics. Um, this one showed up with a tag in it that said 2XL, and it's not a 2XL. It's got a tag down here that says 1XL, which is what I ordered, and it measures out as a 1XL, so I don't know what's going on here. Um, there's a kind of a modesty panel inside. It's another layer of the exact same chiffon just over the front area. Um, so I guess if you're wearing this with just a bra, it doesn't show as much of the details of that. Like you could wear it with an undershirt, but I live somewhere and work somewhere that I can get away without wearing things with an undershirt. So I just put it on. Um, I also normally tie it in the front. I'll show you later on. Um, this shirt was a good example of if your pattern doesn't have a high enough resolution, you might not be super happy with your results. Um, this was not my graphic, and I wanted to use it anyways. And uh, I will encourage people from time to time during this show to use whatever graphics you want anywhere that you can find, as long as you can make them look good and you don't try to make money off of it. Don't sell other people's art and other people's work, but if you have something you really like that maybe you just want to make one for yourself, you know, and you're not like doing like a stage thing, like you don't want to do like a performance in this stuff and not credit the artist whose work you're using, but if you're just like wearing this to the grocery store or to your job, I don't think it's really um, a big ethical problem. But anyways, this is, <laughs> so here's a graphic that's not mine. Um, and it looks really good at a smaller size, where I forgot that there was pockets on it and didn't scale it uh, large enough on the pockets. Um, so it looks really good there. And then the rest of it, it's kind of this like blown out bullshit. So I don't really wear this shirt so much because those kinds of details bother me. I don't know if they bother everybody. also worth mentioning that there's uh, quite a lot of stitching on the inside that's done with a white thread and so if you have a, a very dark color like if it's black all over that might show up um, a lot of times they thread match but I guess with this one they don't because this is definitely a darker color where I would have chosen a black thread and uh, here's the white on the cover stitch actually that's a that's just a serger that's folded over and sewn with a single single stitch. So when I take this and tie it at the front with the other side, this tends to show in part of it, and I think that that's a little bit ugly. Also, the stitching on the back of the buttons is white, and I would you know, much rather have that in black, which of course I could change if I wanted to. Uh, the buttons are white, which I'd rather have in black which I could change if I wanted to, but that's a bunch of extra work for me, and I already have a big pile of sewing repairs to do. E, This is my favorite thing in their catalog. I really like the long sleeve chiffon shirt. It's a button-up. It's made well enough. It fits 
well enough and I can make it look like whatever I want. And I never really liked chiffon as a fabric until I started being able to put my own graphics on it. Um, so this one is really similar to the sleeveless, um, except it has sleeves and it doesn't do that weird thing in the front with the tie hangy flappy folds and, uh, and it has a placket. So uh, this one and it has its size marked correctly. Not that that really makes any difference. Um, I know what I ordered. I know if it fits or not. That's all that really matters. Uh, so here you can see there's a placket cover that covers the buttonhole so you don't see the buttons. And so it makes way less difference that the buttons aren't a color that are matching the color that you have had the fabric printed. Um, it does not have that kind of modesty panel on the inside that the sleeveless one does, so you are going to want to wear this with something underneath it. Uh, the colors are super vivid, and this one just came out ridiculously crisp because I prepared my file really well. Uh, this is some clip art from online that I redrew and then recolored, so I actually worked it all up in Illustrator and so I could make it like really sharp. Um, and then I laid it out as a pattern. So you can see little details like his cute little pink whiskers that show up that, you know, are just barely visible even in the file. Um, here again, they do that stupid thing where they either ran out of thread or started new right in a visible part of the garment. I would, you know, have put that over at a side seam or somewhere out of the way, but, you know, here we are. That's going to unravel. Um, on the cuffs, if you choose a very light color, you'll notice that you can see like some details through it, especially if there's a pattern, you're going to see where that's wrapped around. Um, but it's not a huge deal. This is totally fine in the yellow. Probably nobody but me is going to notice it. On the back, again, it's got uh, that yoke that's two layers, and since it's that light color, you can see you can see the rats on the other side because that part is printed too. There's no way to fix that, so they let you choose where you're putting your pattern here and here and here and here, but not inside. So um, this second layer of the yoke inside, it's just kind of like auto-generated, and you can't change it. Um, but I don't find it super distracting. I don't really care. I still really like this shirt. And the bottom is, again, just a rolled hem. Um, wow, they did the same thing on this side, too, where they started sewing and then had to stop. And it looks like they jumbled the thread up here also. So not ideal, you know, if somebody, like, really cares about... Ooh, that's coming apart, too. You know, if you really care about things looking luxury, this is not a good use of your time or money. <laughs> um, but if you want some like really interesting clothes and you don't mind taking some extra steps to preserve them, like hand washing or, um, you know, making sure not to put them in the dryer and occasionally going through and finding all of your like, like tying up your loose ends. Uh, you have to tie up your loose ends with your shirt from time to time. So no big deal. And here's the same shirt with a different print. Um, you've noticed that I tend to make the collar and the cuffs a solid color instead of trying to get the image the same scale onto those places. Um, that's mostly because like the program doesn't have a way for you to populate all of the pieces with the image at the same size. It's going to end up being smaller on some pieces and larger than others and you have to sort of eyeball that they're coming out the same so between like for this pattern in particular between the sleeve and the body i can make that look like it's visually cohesive but if i try to put it on a way smaller piece it might not only look a way different scale um a very small version of the same graphic is going to look a lot sharper even though i had a good resolution on my full size piece. Um, it's just going to like be a lot crisper anyways, and I would find that to be really distracting, so I don't want that. So I just use a solid color as sort of a workaround. Um, 
I would much rather these buttons be black. I could change them, but I'm just lazy. Uh, I'm starting to get a little bit of that thing where the uh, when the yarns pull, they leave these little white lines. Uh, because this wasn't a black chiffon, it was a white chiffon printed black. So that's always making little like pull lines that show the original color of the fabric. But it's not a huge deal yet. I just have to treat it really gently. Um, the problem that I had with the other shirt where you could see the pattern on the other side of the placket, I mean, of the, on the other side of the yoke, is uh, way less obvious on this one because it's a darker color. And the whole thing is a darker color, so it just reads as a lot less sheer. Um, I have accidentally worn this to work with just a bra underneath without thinking, and if anybody noticed, they didn't say anything. It wasn't super obvious. And uh, I have a couple of friends there that would probably let me know if I looked like Hey, you wear cheap bras. Here's the sleeveless number. Business in the back, party in the front, or whatever this means. I don't know what style this thing is, so I normally just kind of bring it up here and tie it in a little thingy. And uh, I think that looks better. I might be wrong. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? How, how, are, how are you supposed to wear this thing? Um, but yeah, it comes out fine. It doesn't hang down way too far underneath my armpit, so I'm not getting that like swoopy armpit thing. Um, yeah, everything's pretty straightforward. It's not an uncomfortable fabric to wear. Uh, I don't overheat in it like I do in some polyesters. It's got a lot of good airflow. Here's the rat shirt. I've not noticed before that the back is way longer than the front because I normally wear this tucked in. Let's get that all in there. There we go. I would probably not wear this with black jeans, but you know, we're just reviewing the shirt, not my whole outfit. Um, so I like it a lot better that way. I wear it with these like blue high waistbands and I think it looks okay. Um, but like, check this out. Look how long the sleeves are. If you're normally shaped at all, um, this might be really long on you. Look, I can get them to like go down to there if I want to. I have really long arms and everything's really short on me. Normally if I order something from China, it's like, hey, check out my wrists and most of my arm. Um, and then it gets tight right here. But this actually is like really comfortably large. I would almost go for a size large instead of an extra large, but when I go forward, starts to pull, starts to pull more. You know, you just don't have a lot of give in the shoulders. So the shoulders are the right size for me, and the rest of it's just kind of big. But I like big. Um, the top, I've never been entirely sure what's going on here. This seems to be another one of those pieces that doesn't scale quite perfectly into the larger sizes like I don't know there's something about the way that the neck is constructed like it's a little it's a little too big in here I've got kind of a normal average-ish size neck and there's there's a lot going on there and so that makes like this whole thing lay a little bit weird but you know what it's not too weird you're not gonna like see me walking down the street and be like her shirt fits weird look at her hey guys, check out how bad that shirt fits. Like, it's actually pretty much just fine. So this one, we'll just start with it tucked in because this is how I like to wear it. Um, I'll mention that it, it's a lot to tuck in because it kind of like goes to here. So you're sort of like shoving shirt way down in your pants. But uh, I don't know. It's not making a big bulge or anything because it's a really thin fabric. So I think it's fine. And this one I like to button all the way up. That same thing is going on with the collar being like really large and I don't like the way the white shows when it's open but this one just looks kind of cute with the top closed so something you can probably wear to work or somewhere that's not work that's more interesting than work you can wear a more interesting shirt I guess also um, since there's kind of a lot extra here let's see how much room do I have for more boobs I could have a little bit more boobs and still fit in the XL at, you know, my general measurements. I could have more belly. It would still fit. Got about, 
about a thumb length pinch of ease on either side. But you know, the, the armholes are kind of, the arm openings are kind of big, so that can make it pull a little bit in some places. So when I start to raise my arm up, it starts to get tight here. Now that's just dress shirts. You know, that's garments that are cut to fit a body without having a whole bunch of spandex in them. So that's something you just kind of like have to accept some amount of, but it, you know, it could be patterned a little bit better. Um, again, I don't think I spent $20 on this shirt. So find the sales. Thanks for watching. I hope this has been helpful. I'll post my measurements in the description. Uh, I'm not affiliated with Arts Cow or Cow Cow in any way. I don't get discounts and don't follow my YouTube channel. That's not a thing. Um, or maybe someday it will be. Ooh. Bye.